Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Spanner Builds. We're going to take a bit of a break from the uh, first man missions because somebody's asked me to build a Eurofighter and I was like, yeah, why don't we give that a go? Because I quite like the Eurofighter. It is a, a cool looking plane. Like it just looks fast, doesn't it? Um, so I, I'm going to try and build it roughly to scale since we did quite a good job with the B-52. Uh, so I'm going to go on these dimensions. They look about right, don't they? 11 meter wingspan, 16 meter length, 5 and a bit meters tall. Right, the weight probably won't be, the, won't be right, but that's fine. That's no problem. Okay, I'll see you in the vehicle assembly building and uh, let's see what we can do. Chase the night Race all of these broken dreams and flight 
chains, we have the key. Open your eyes and see. We are the ones who know the answers, and they ain't never gonna hold us back. Right, let's take her for a spin and see what she can do. Uh, put SAS on for starters, and off we go. I think after burning for takeoff. Whoa. It's still not quite balanced somehow. Oh, uh, yeah, fly, flies nicely there. Okay, so I mean it's a fighter jet, so it should be quite maneuverable. We've increased the control authority so it can roll nice and quickly, which is what I would expect. Quite a lot of momentum to overcome there. I think I'd expect it to be able to snap backwards and forwards a bit faster than that. In terms of G-forces, it can pull in a turn. Uh, oh, loads! Straight up to 15G there. When we're travelling at high speed, and yeah, pretty maneuverable. Yep, fairly, fairly happy with that. Uh, rudder authority, not so good, but you know, we are travelling at very high speed, so that's fair enough. Actually, it's not bad, you know. Um, right, okay, so that's um, SAS on. The aircraft is slightly unstable because the centre of mass is a little bit above and behind the centre of lift, which should mean with SAS off. It gets a little bit twitchier, and yes, there it goes, wobbling a fair amount, and it should it might even turn quick. Yeah, <laughs> it likes it seems it it likes to fall upside down basically, which is kind of a classic classic trick for making aircraft more maneuverable. But it does mean they need fly-by-wire systems, so we'll turn SAS back on. I think. Wow, that makes such a massive difference. Uh, I wonder if we can actually go supersonic in this thing. The speed of sound is about 340 meters per second, I think. 
mean, this thing's still reasonably streamlined, but I do have multiple components and they're not all attached together, so like these bits here, and th they might be generating some drag that we'd rather not have. Don't have streamlined parts for the uh, edges of the wing here either. They should just be nice little circular shaped things, but alas, I went for air intakes. So we're close to speed of sound, but not quite there. How are we doing for thrust? Pretty good, but we're not getting any not getting any more thrust, so. Alright, well it's close enough. It's close enough. Uh Right, well let's turn this baby around. <laughs> so quick on the turn, so many G's. Good job Kerbal seems to be made out of jelly or something, they don't seem to care. Wow, it is really quite twitchy. I wonder if you can be precise with it. Hmm, it's definitely hard to be precise. Actually, it, mm, it's not awful, you just need to get used to it. <laughs> Very good. Oh, sadly we can't look back at our wings, that's a shame. Uh, right. You know what, this is all the afterburner on, let's just turn that off. That's nice and quiet, isn't it? It's much better. We were generating almost 150. Wow, that is a big difference in thrust. It's probably about right though, afterburning versus not afterburning. I wonder what our top speed is. Sort of super cruising. That's, that's quite respectable. We're still getting faster. Our thrust is going up as well. That's interesting. It looks like it's going to top out at sort of 260-ish, something like that. Think it looks enough like a Eurofighter? I think it looks enough like a Eurofighter. It's not perfect, but Kerbal Space Program stock parts. I don't think I've done a terrible job. Oh, okay, runway's clear. We should probably do a break or something. And we got 250. That's probably about right. We're slowing down quite a lot here. Let's uh, oh, let's use our air brake. Whoa. Oh, and the rest of the vehicle. <laughs> wow. You can just slow down from like 250 to nothing just with one tight turn. That is impressive. I wonder where on speed AOA is. That is the speed at which we sort of just about start to drop out of the sky. Be somewhere around here, I would have thought. I'm keeping an eye on this. Here we go. So it's about 66. Put a 5 degrees nose up. That's, that's pretty pretty good actually. That's, that's very good indeed. In fact it glides really well. Glides a lot better than I think the real thing glides. Maybe not though. I'll just say for sure. And that is a massive lifting surface, effectively, all of this. Ah, there we go, nose is coming down now, right. So somewhere between 66 and 40, probably, for like ideal landing speed. Uh, so let's uh, give that a go, gear down. Start the turn. So I might actually need a chase cam, that's better. I'll turn with us so I can line up on the runway. 
Oh wow, I've suddenly started going quite a lot quicker than I intended. Uh, I want to be about 5 degrees nose up when it comes to touchdown, I think. And if we can, we'll just walk it in on the throttle. A little bit more speed. A little, whoa, a bit low, a bit low. <laughs> and then just cut the throttle. Hmm, okay. Well, that could have been better, but for a first landing, that's not bad. The wheels... Whoa! Whoa! What's happening here? I just tried to put a little bit of rudder in there. And it started bouncing like crazy. Okay. Brakes on, I think. Let's, uh, let's stop that bounce, thank you. Lovely! Well, you know what? She flies very well. I'm very happy with that. Not quite sure what's going on here. Oh, SAS. Turn that off. Hello? There shouldn't be anything. No, oh, the reaction wheels are disabled. Landing gear in this game is just weird. Anyway. There's the dancing gear if I said for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, do not understand what's going on there. Uh, right, well, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm quite happy with this. Hope you are too. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions or anything else you might want to see built. A helicopter is on the list. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But, uh, yeah, maybe maybe in the next one I'll do a helicopter. Not sure. Might get back to the first man missions like Gemini and Apollo and stuff. I don't know yet. I don't know. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.